Uh, you mentioned data mine a, a couple times, and I want to touch on that. We we did talk, we talked about it a fair about, um, amount. Wow, can't talk today. Amount on the last episode uh, with you, but um, I want to just touch on it again, and, and, and in a little slightly different spin because um, w- with the acquisition that you Centric had already had, I mean, some of the top mining operators in the world as a client, and I I just want to talk about that what you accomplished prior to the acquisition to make that such a valuable uh, company and a little bit more about that journey and, and, and onboarding, you know, the, the BHPs and the Newmonts and Glencores and, you know, all these uh, unbelievably successful operations themselves. And then you, you become the company that's servicing that and just talk us through a bit of that journey. Well, look, fundamentally, we, I, I think I started the conversation by saying that I, I've never seen this as a software company. That's never the way, really, way I position ourselves. Um, we position ourselves as a, as a company that, that um, helps organizations with breakthroughs, with, you know, with, with fundamentally improving the business. And it just so happens that we see information management or the rapid transformation of information to decision as a tool behind that. And we were very deeply embedded with the, our early customers, very deeply embedded. Um, you know, we, we would make a pitch to the, these organizations, some, some of which you mentioned, and we would demonstrate to them a fundamental understanding of the business problems they had. And I think this is what differentiates a software company from, a, from a, um, uh, shall we say, a, a consultancy. We gave our customers confidence that we understood their problem at least as good, if not better, than they did. In particular, around the ops and around the the ore accounting side of the business, and so by demonstrating that we had that that level of confidence, um, and then solving that problem with the tools that we provided and integrated to other tools, it's, it's not just us. Um, we really became embedded we, with with these these organizations who who saw that we could help solve problems. Some of them were very challenging, and and some you know were able to solve fairly quickly and easily. But what happens is it fosters organic growth. You, know, you solve problems there. The mining industry is an extremely transient industry, as you know. People move an awful lot in this industry, and then we hear it the so much on the show. We talk, and it's so much of the growth of the businesses that have been featured on the show has been because of that transient environment the mining has. It's, it's actually quite fascinating. It's it is. I mean, it's it's unlike I think any other industry because the industry is so small from a people perspective, but so large from a dollar perspective that you know the same people travel throughout the industry and of course they take their history with them both you know positive and negative and that's the key organic growth so as we solve problems with with one organization you know you get that give them that sense of confidence that you know the problem as least as well as they do um that's remembered and you're seen as an you're seen as a, as an expert uh, in in that field and then that carries on to the next, and to the next, and to the next. And that, without a doubt, was the key to our growth. We would spend very long periods of time at customer sites uh, all over the world uh, embedded to help understand um, the business processes behind the problems we were solving and then work with them to clean those processes up and, and deliver value.